you still struggling with the difference between creating art for God versus creating art with God? I'm going to give you five things today, some real differences that I hope will begin to expand your understanding of how God's called you to create with Him today on 5-Minute Mentoring. Well, hey, my friend, so glad that you are with me here on 5-Minute Mentoring. You know, one of the things as believers that I know is the desire of all of our hearts as, as artists who love Jesus is to do things that bring him joy and pleasure, that honor him, that glorify him. And yet sometimes that very desire can be a hindrance for us in our creative process because this desire to create things for God many times inadvertently puts a lot of pressure on us rather than eliciting freedom. I found for myself that the difference between you know, being inspired by the Holy Spirit versus creating with the Holy Spirit is actually my willingness to listen and to respond and to cooperate with him in the moment as I'm working with him. Not to say that God, you know, is not a plan or not to say that, that God didn't give us vision that takes long a long time or many steps to, to execute, but it's as we're listening and cooperating and walking with him in the moment, I think that really sets apart creating for God versus creating with God. You know, as I was thinking about this today, five really kind of differences came up in my mind. I wanted to share those with you. The first thing that I would say is creating with God is all about relationship, not rules. Religion is all about rules, right? You got to do it this way. It's got to look that way. You got to make sure that it includes this and that and da, 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 da. And so there's all these parameters, which when you actually start creating with the Holy Spirit, you realize that it's all about relationship. It's kind of like what Jesus said. Hey, I, I just do the things that I see the Father doing. And so as you start cooperating with him in the context of relationship, the Holy Spirit begins to show you. He begins to reveal the next step. He begins to, to nudge you. He begins to, to lead you by his voice and by his spirit, as opposed to saying, this is the right way. This is the wrong way. Do this, do that. And keeping you within these, these rules-based boxes, if you will. Number two, I would say creating with the Holy Spirit is about intimacy, not obligation. So many people have lived their life with Jesus out of obligation rather than intimacy. That is, I got to go to church because you go to church. I got to worship because you're supposed to worship. I got saved because I didn't want to go to hell. As opposed to <laughs> developing an intimate relationship with the Lord. That is, talking to him, listening to him, reading his word, being led by the spirit. See, listen, if you approach your art, uh, you know, as, just like you do with your relationship with the Lord and it's rules based and obligation based, you're doing all these things out of performance, essentially, as opposed to out of relationship and being led by the joy and by the beauty of his spirit, by celebrating the uniqueness that he's put within you. And so I just find that as you as you walk with the Lord and as you learn to, to walk with the Holy Spirit in your creative process, it's less and less about rules and obligation, and it's more and more about relationship and intimacy. Number three, I find that creating with the Holy Spirit is all about cooperation versus control. Again, not only feeling the control of I'm supposed to do because, you know, do it this way because there's rules and obligations and you're supposed to and all that sort of thing, but also letting go of the control yourself and being able to be free enough in the spirit that says, hey, I don't know everything that's going to happen in this process. I'm not sure exactly how this project is going to turn out, whether it be a painting or a sculpture or a new book or poem or, or song, but I'm willing to go with the Lord. I'm willing to cooperate with him, even in the unknown, realizing that as I walk with him, it's a safe place. It's a beautiful place for me to continue to walk and explore with him. He's going to be with me every step of the way. Number four, I would say, is about freedom versus restriction. Again, so many times religion and fear-based uh, mentality really puts restrictions on you. So you think, well, I can't touch that subject. I can't uh, create in this way because it's not religious enough or God enough. I've got to put scripture on my pieces or I've got to use this symbolism or I've got to, you know, present it in this way as opposed to, again, 
learning to be intimate with the Lord out of relationship, out of intimacy with him and cooperation, you start to realize, hey, there's freedom. And whether I go this way or I go that way, as long as I'm going that way with Jesus, there's freedom in the middle of that for me to be able to explore the depths of of my interest, the depths of the things that, that God's put on my heart, the depths of the things that draw me uh, creatively. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. There's nothing that's this off limits uh, in that scenario. And then lastly, I think it's about options versus ought to's. Again, religion and fear-based, performance-based living and is all about ought to's and the rules and the control and all this sort of thing, as opposed to realizing that, hey, in the kingdom, there's options. Whether I go to the right or to the left, as long as I'm walking with Jesus, I'm gonna be blessed. Why? Because I'm his son. Because I'm, you know, you're his son, you're his daughter, you're you're his child. He his Holy Spirit lives inside of you, and his desire is to bless you with abundance, to lead you into all goodness, into all truth, into all the beautiful things that God has for you. And so, as opposed to feeling like, oh, there's rules and there's obligation, I gotta keep it within these lines, and I'm so restricted, and I ought to do it this way or I ought to do it that way. Listen. Just lean into Jesus. <laughs> Begin to invite him in to the Holy Spirit. Begin to, to walk with him in your creative process. Begin to trust that the things that you love as you create with him are the things that he loves because he's the one that's leading you and guiding you the whole time. Listen, I love you, my friend. I promise you, as you begin to create this way with God as opposed to just for God, again, nothing wrong with honoring the Lord with your gift, but there's a whole different level in the kingdom when you begin to invite Holy Spirit into the process with you. Invite him in today. Begin to create with him, and then let me know how that goes. I'd love to, love to, love to see uh, how that begins to manifest in your life as you create with the Holy Spirit. I love you, my friend. Remember, until next time, you were created to thrive. All right, bye.